somebody knows who was in that woman's house with her and we need that person to step up and say what happened so that we can bring some peace to her family, those children, that community, because we cannot have people murdering women in, in their home for children inside the house. That is something that we can't accept and we have to uh, get to a point where we're being better as a community. Forty-year-old Sophia Wilkes was a single mother who devoted the majority of her time to her three children. She is described as a down-to-earth, positive, sweet, and loyal person, just an overall beautiful soul. Around 11.30 p.m. on the evening of April 5th, officers were called to a home in the 700 block of Leonard Street after a report of a shooting. Inside, officers would find 40-year-old Sophia Wilkes unresponsive and suffering from several gunshot wounds. 40-year-old Sophia Wilkes was shot multiple times inside her home. Sadly, police confirm her three young children were home at the time. No word on whether they witnessed the shooting. Neighbor Pete Modlin is a friend of the family. It hurts. It hurts because she was so young. She was young and had nice children, nice, neat children. It's sad. It's sad. The Emerson Village community is going through what investors see as a positive transition. It's a shame. It's a shame. I mean, there is an issue with the crime in Baltimore City. Um, I don't know if there's something, you know, that can be fixed. Wilkes' murder is the 82nd homicide this year in the city. That's four more than this time last year. Sadly, Sophia was taken to the hospital where she later died from her injuries. Family and friends would later learn that it was Sophia's 11-year-old son that made the call to 911. None of Sophia's children were harmed during the incident. The next day, homicide detectives were canvassing the neighborhood where she was killed. Two uniformed officers parked their squad car outside of the brick row house, keeping watch until someone could come board up the empty building. The front door was ajar with lights on inside. A streamer of yellow crime tape remained draped across the chain link fence out front. The small yard contained a rubber ball and a discarded juice box. The porch furniture was neatly arranged with a plastic table supporting a potted plant and watering can. Neighbors were shocked and saddened by the events that transpired to someone who was known by many as a wonderful woman within the community. Her kids was her life. That's what she did. That's what makes it so painful and hurts so bad. Those who knew Sophia Wilkes are in shock at the brutal crime that took her life. The mother of three was shot and killed inside her home on Lennard Street in Edmondson Village around 11.30 Tuesday night. For someone to take the life of a mom with her kids in the house, right. that's, that's like, horrible. It's worse than horrible. That's, they should turn them over to the public, whoever it is. I tell you what. They have to witness Can you imagine what they're going to go through for the rest of their life? I mean, they were safe in there. They was protected in there. She always spoke to me and gave me respect. You know, it's, it's a tragedy, something like that happened. By me being an elder, you know, and she always treated me nice. Mm -hmm. It was nice to me. Pete Maudlin was her neighbor who lived a few doors down. He says she leaves behind small children. Yeah, she had three children. Mm -hmm. Two girls and a boy. I used to see them play all the time. Women wasn't going to school. Neighbors say the oldest child, a boy, is in the sixth grade. He had two little sisters who went to a nearby elementary school. He come and pick his two little sisters up every day. Good little kids, beautiful little kids. Several of Sophia's friends posted tributes on social media. One stated, I really just want to move far away from Baltimore, in the middle of nowhere. I just learned that one of my clients was killed. Sophia Wilkes was such a sweetheart when I met her. She loved the jewelry I made her and her daughter so much. She told me I had a customer for life. We talked a bit when she came to my house. Such a positive spirit. This city is sad. Rest in peace, love. What a beautiful soul taken away. As of right now, police have not released information about any possible suspects and are asking anyone with information to come forward. The reward money has recently doubled to $16,000.